Create an account. Creating a Coward Project account is necessary if you want to provide monetary gifts, but monetary gifts are not required and no credit card is asked for. The Coward Project will benefit close to 80 or 90 percent of us. To be successful, we need our supporters to work for our success. Anyone who agrees the CARA project needs to be fully implemented can help our project and others by voting, sharing our project with others, and following up with them. These efforts require no money and are necessary. We ask all supporters to create an account so we can watch our progress on growing our supporter base. We don't want to lobby government, but we might need to hire some lobbyists in the future. To help any lobbyists we might use, we ask three questions. If you don't wish to answer, we provide a no response option for each one. The Cower Project doesn't care what your answers are as long as they are true. We sum up the results and only share totals so no one can be identified. For example, one question asks, how do you lean politically? For each congressional district, we sum up each option for this question. If we had at least 10 who chose this, we would share this result or else we would not. To create an account, open your browser. We show our browser homepage here. Enter our homepage URL into the address bar of your browser. In some browsers, you need only enter thecowerproject.com to get to the Cower Project homepage. If that doesn't work, enter http colon slash slash www.thecowerproject.com, which should work. We are showing the full address now and for about 10 more seconds. Then we will show the short version for about 10 seconds. Now, in your browser, proceed to our home page. When there, your home page should look identical to the one that's shown right now. We are now showing our Cower Project homepage on the screen. You will now see a red arrow pointing to the Create an Account menu option on that page. Click on the Create an Account menu option in your web browser. We are now showing our Create an Account input page. On this page, you're going to enter the password. You're going to re-enter it to verify it. You're going to enter your email address and your zip code, and then you're going to click on Validate. We have now shown our attempt to create an account input screen, and the passwords that we entered were not identical. So this screen shows us those error messages. In addition, our email address that we put in substituted a pound sign where the at sign should be so that's invalid also so we have to re-enter those fields to make them correct and after we do so we hit the validate key in order to continue the account successfully created screen is shown which means you now have an account number in our case the account number is 173 Whatever you find that number to be in your case, do not forget it because you will need to know that 
and the password that you entered in order to log into the system in the future. Click on the continue button to continue. This is our viewpoints input screen. It has three questions. Each question has its own individual drop down selection box. You can simply click on your choice. If you don't want to answer any of these questions, you can just skip ahead and click on the validate button and move forward. We show our answers above. Under the fiscal view, in the drop down box, we chose ultra liberal. In the social view drop down box, we chose ultra conservative. And in the affiliation drop down box, we chose independent. And then we clicked on validate. This screen shows that we have successfully added our viewpoint data. So we click on continue to move forward. This screen shows the message from our project founder, Steve Adams. After you've read the message, the final thing to do is click on continue, which will take you back to the Cower Project homepage. That's all there is to creating a Cower Project account.